Scary Terry. Yesterday we were celebrating the season five premiere of Rick and Morty with Scary Terry Cake, one of my favorite characters. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koala Pops. Let's get into this video. Now, like I said, we are celebrating the season five premiere of Rick and Morty on June 20th on Adult Swim. They asked me to make a character. I decided to go with Scary Terry, and this is how I made the cake. Now to start off, I used poster board to create a design that is on Scary Terry's sweater. I'm just using them as dividers, and then I'm gonna take them off once all of my batter is in the pan. And this is kind of an experiment. I didn't know if the design would hold. Did it work? Kind of. It kind of worked. <laughs> now I'm adding some buttercream in between each of my layers. And then I added my second layer of cake, which actually worked. That one has way better stripes than the first one. Now I'm putting my stencil on top and creating the silhouette of Scary Terry. Now I do have some cake extras. I'm gonna place this at the top to fill in the gaps so that I have enough cake to create the top of Terry's hat. Place my stencil on again, and then it was time to carve Terry's shape. Now I really took my time with this because I wanted to make sure that I got all of the ugly in all the right places so that it looked exactly like the monster that we've been watching on TV. Now I'm actually going to save all of my cake scraps to create some cake baldo so I can finish creating all of Terry's features. So I used my cake baldo to create his like ball chin and like his nose and all of the different abscesses that are on his face. He looks like he's got a ton of medical problems this guy. <laughs> now I'm going to give this a crumb coat and then I'm going to add all of my fondant details. I'm covering my entire cake with this very bright, very vibrant piece of almost like a magenta fondant. I love this color for him. Now the reason I chose Scary Terry is because I love that scene where he goes home and he's just like greeting his wife and his baby. <laughs> he's such a family man, he wouldn't expect it. I don't see how you could hate him after watching that scene. Now we've got his gap tooth grill going on and then I started to add his like jaundice eyes. <laughs> They're so yellow, I love it. Now to finish this guy's face, we're going to give him a nice, long unibrow. Oh, this guy is so beautiful. Not. Then it was time to move on to his hat. So we've got another piece of fondant going on. We're adding some brown to create his hat. Pull away the extra fondant, finish his eyes, and voila. Our scary terry cake was complete. Wow, I love this man. That ball chin is everything. Now, I really like him, so I wanted to incorporate his glove, but the thing that I didn't like about this was that it hit his face, and his face is so ugly, and it took so much work, and that's the best part. So I ended up just taking it off. All right, now let's cut into this baby. I was really excited to cut this because I wanted to see what the inside looked like. These colors, man, they look so good. Now I'm curious, what other Rick and Morty characters would you like to see me create? Let me know in the comments. And make sure you watch Rick and Morty's season 5 premiere on Adult Swim on June 20th. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon.